Thursday, and today I thought it would be interesting to briefly address a topic that I think is fairly general, but I think has a lot of implications and people can interpret this however you want to. But uh, I'm going to try to explain as best as I can in this video what I mean um, when I'm discussing this topic. Um, and that topic is the or the the greed for power or the desire to obtain control over people. Now, obviously, this has many bad implications, I think, for society. Um, but I'll kind of discuss, too, that um, I'm not necessarily talking about power itself um, because you can use power to do a lot of good things in the world. I'm discussing those, um, the kind of power that people desire for that's on the level of narcissistic um, greed um, to have some kind of very authoritarian approach um, as far as governing people. Um, and uh, I think that's um, really what I'm getting at is the this this desire and uh, in particular, this greed for this kind of a uh, power um, and control. Now, um, what I think happens oftentimes when it comes to this kind of a um, scenario is, is it's like, you know, what was said in Spider-Man a bazillion times, with great power comes great responsibility. Um, and sometimes that power can go to people's heads. Um, and uh, we've seen this on numerous occasions throughout history. I mean, just pick up a history book and you will clearly see what I mean. Um, but basically, I think this, um, this, uh, this desire to control and manipulate people is still something that I think is present within our society, whether we maybe see it or not. Um, but uh, I think there is a lot of power that we give to certain individuals, and sometimes that can go astray and lead us down a path that may not be the best suited for us. Um, and I think what happens oftentimes is, is when this desire comes in to have this very, very uh, domineering, um, very intense uh, approach to governing people. And again, this can be this can be both um, in in a work environment in a um, in a political environment, you know, it, it, this can vary significantly. Um, but it's not about leadership. Um, and I think this is what, um, this is what ultimately leads to the good side or the part of power that is used for good. When you display a sense of leadership and where you govern people in a reasonable and in a manner that allows for hierarchies to establish, but then at the same time, you're not manipulating anybody, you're not trying to um, sway them, you are, you are simply laying out things that can ultimately end up benefiting them. For example, um, you know, a, a supervisor can do that. Um, he can display great qualities of of guiding the organization and making it a better place, or he can, you know, use it as a means to take advantage of the employees or the customers or whoever. So maybe he could get some extra wealth for himself. You know, there's there's a variety of ways in which, uh, again, people with authority and power can use their power. They can either use it for a greater good and provide something for society, or they can choose to 
you know, not um, do that. And in doing so, they become fairly greedy in the way in which they um, desire that control. Um, and then it ends up getting to your head. And, um, and, I, and I think it has the ability to really uh, destroy not only the person who is um, obsessed with the power, but of all the people that are that surround or that are within that person's life. So again, I think it is a powerful desire to want to have this kind of um, perfect society and in doing so, um, thinking that you can have all of the control and you can have all the power and, and everything will be okay. Um, but uh, usually that doesn't really work out well, obviously. I, I think the more power we give to one particular individual, um, the more dangerous um, it is to, um, to try and sway that person um, because they're just so entrenched with their power that they can't... Um, they can't have any forms of sympathy or empathy. Um, and uh, I think that's really what it all boils down to. Uh, if you look at films like uh, Schindler's List, this discuss it discusses power in a fairly interesting way um, in saying that power is about not, um, not using it as a... Uh, a way to berate and harm people, um, but to but to lift them up and, in a sense, pardon them. Um, I think is what the uh, what in particular Schindler used within the film, um, where he talks about the I guess I believe it was like a Roman emperor who pardoned somebody. Um, I believe he was a maybe a, an enemy. Um, but, uh, there's a power in doing that because the more people, you know, like you and want to be around you and, uh, and, uh, you know, you can look at, uh, even comedies like, um, for example, uh, uh Team America, I believe it's called with the puppets. Um, I think it was the guys who did South Park, but there's one point in the film where, Kim Jong-un, the dictator of North Korea, um, he sings this song about being lonely. And I think that reflects onto, you know, the idea of people who do have this kind of a power because you end up isolating everybody so much only out of really fear and obviously because you're a complete douche. <laughs> So, uh, so I think that's something that, uh, that, uh, comes into play, but I think that's really the, the idea is, is this the over obsession of, of, of a thing, you know, of, of, of being able to have this one thing and then in doing so use it to control people, basically. Um, you know, you, you just see how damaging and how, um, isolating that can be um, to an individual and obviously um, you know there's there's a multitude of ways into which um, people have this very bad desire um, some might be based on maybe family history or um, based on um, multitude of factors from, you know, some kind of, uh, mental illness or something of that nature. Um, you know, there, there could be a multitude of things that can result into this kind of extreme behavior. Uh, but I think what it really boils down to is just some people just really feel like they should have this control over something. And in doing so, 
use it to basically harm people instead of trying to lift people up and try to make the world a better place. Um, and obviously, I'm I'm not saying to, I'm not saying that the people who who are underneath um, those who have maybe higher authority or power are um, are perfect little goody two shoes either. Um, but what I am saying is, is is that when it is when power is used in such a way that is so hostile. Um, it, it creates uh, dysfunction, and uh, I think that's really what it all boils down to. And uh, I think there is this desire, especially nowadays, to constantly feel the need for, um, you know, that kind of like that instant gratification to want more, to feel like, you know, we we need more of this, more of that, more uh, something more, more of a, we need more egocentricness. Um, that, that, that kind of a, I have an idea, I think, too, spreads this, um, uh, spreads this mindset of wanting to maintain a sense of power and control over people, um, and try to sway people with their ideas and, so uh, I, I think that's really what it ultimately all boils down to, um, and uh, I definitely don't do not want to display like I am of a higher um, that I am better than uh, anybody else. Um, uh, you know, I I do have a, a power that is within my capabilities, but I intend to use that power for uh, obviously good reasons um and i think making videos has been one of those things that i think is a good thing and a good thing to kind of spread these ideas and to to get people thinking um but again uh i think if we move more towards cooperation and focus on establishing um leadership and not trying to try to grab the next power the next um, thing that's gonna give you more influence over other people more power um, and instead just focus on trying to create something that gives power to other people and at the same time, maybe gives, again, some power to yourself um, without initiating any harm. Then I think that's really what uh, what's really going to push us forward. Um, but yeah, I think that's really all I can say about this topic. I mean, there's a lot of uh, interesting scenarios that I'm sure you can come up with as far as this and I'm sure there's people who have maybe experienced this kind of mindset that uh, people maybe within our culture have that, you know, it's all about power and money and and material goods when really um, power should be used to uh, lift people up and not try to display a sense of ego and of... Um, of of pure superiority i think um <laughs> but uh yeah i think that's really ultimately all i can say but again if there are any questions comments concerns i'd be more than happy to answer them but thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a pleasant day week month and year i am unfortunately not going to be able to upload fridays saturdays and maybe sundays video on time because I'm going to be relatively busy this weekend but um, I will be sure to post these videos so I'm not going to be skipping out over any of them uh, but uh, yeah it will all be said and done it just might be a little bit of a delay 
But again, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day, week, month, and year.